This is one of the best and most efficient bamboo farms you can build for the Minecraft 1.21 update, and it uses no observers. Here are all the materials you are going to need for this build. You can also replace the bamboo with sugarcane if you want to farm some sugarcane as well. The first thing we're going to do is dig a two wide hole that's going to be 11 blocks long. Once you dug that hole, go ahead and make sure that it's two blocks deep. And now you can jump inside your hole. Pick either side, doesn't really matter which side, and dig a 2x2 two two hole on the bottom like this, followed by an additional 1x2 hole all the way down here like so. Now, go ahead and take out your chest and place your chest all the way on the bottom like this, and now you're going to take out your hoppers. Place your first hopper on top of the chest going into it, with two hoppers going one into that hopper and the second one going into the hopper after that, that way they all funnel into the chest. To make sure these work, go ahead and drop one piece of dirt on top of one of the hoppers and make sure it ends up in the chest. If it's not working, just redo your hoppers and it'll work. And now we want to take out our redstone blocks and we want to go two blocks away from the hoppers. So one, two, and on the second block, dig another one by two hole and place down two of these redstone blocks. After that, we're going to head to the other side of our hole and mine these two blocks right here on the edge and then place down our last two blocks of redstone. Now we need to do our powered rails. In order to do this correctly, we're going to place three powered rails, one on top of this hopper here, another one on this third, and then a third one on top of this redstone block. Go ahead and place down two of your normal rails. It'll make placing these a little bit easier. And then you need to do the same thing on the other side as well. If you run the trouble while placing the rails like I did right here, just go ahead and make sure that when you're placing it, you're lined up with the direction you want the rail to face, and it will place it down for you like so. Now we need to head to the other side. And with one of your powered rails, place it on top of the redstone block, followed by two normal rails right after. And then place another powered rail on the other redstone block with one redstone rail right after. You now need to go ahead and just connect these lines. They may end up connecting weirdly like this, so you may need to mine it up a little bit. But afterwards, it should now look like this. Now go next to your chest, and you're going to want to dig a one block hole all the way down to your chest that we can see it on the surface. And then place four blocks of dirt on top of where this first hopper is right here like this and it should make a wall that lines up with your rails you can now get out of the hole and go ahead and take out your stone bricks pistons dirt and your two minecarts with hoppers with your stone brick go to the longer side of your hole and place down one layer of stone brick and you're going to want to do this on both sides once you've done this with your minecart hoppers go ahead and place them both down on top of the redstone blocks they should go ahead and bounce off the walls like this and be repeating back and forth you can now take out your dirt and cover up the tracks below because you no longer need to mess with them anymore. Now, with your pistons, you're going to want to go to the very end of your wall and place down one piston, followed by two stone brick and then one piston. And you're going to follow this pattern all the way to you reach the end of your wall and then make sure you do it on both sides as well. After you finish that, you're going to do the opposite pattern, but on the third layer. And what I mean by is placing a stone brick on the pistons and then two pistons on the stone bricks. And you're going to complete this pattern across the entire wall as well on both sides. Once you finish your farm, it should now look like this. Now we need to get to the top of the farm and to do that, we can build a temporary staircase on the back side and then take out our redstone torches and our redstone dust. On every single stone brick we see on the top of this farm, we're going to place a redstone dust like so. Now, under each of these redstone dust, we're going to go ahead and place down a redstone torch as well. Once you've completed that, your farm should now look like this. We now need to go ahead and put the roof on the farm and in order to do that we're just going to place a stone brick on top of these redstone torches like this and then follow along the entire way and now your farm should look like this inside of the farm go ahead and place down all of your bamboo on each of the dirt blocks but as a quick extra tip i recommend putting a wall on the outside of the farm on both sides that way none of the bamboo will actually end up leaving the farm and that's it for this farm Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.